Now, this is the Machinology N39. Now, although it may look pretty cool, yesterday, or last video, we went over the N37. If I get these two swapped up, which will definitely happen, forgive me. But, we went over the N37, now we got the N39. Which one's better? Why? Let's find out. Now, I kind of just want to focus on the N39 for a minute. So, obviously, I feel like the main thing you're first going to notice is this is a three, this is like a filament case, and you can really see that. It pops out, you can see the print lines, and although it, like, obviously has this grady pattern, and I love how the purple one looks. I got a purple case and a black case for each of these, but I went with the black on this one because of how good that looks. It looks resin printed, but this is a filament. You can see it on the sides there, too. So, I went with the black, and this really just does look sick. But when, and I just swapped the buttons for purple ones and black ones on here. But what this has is the Helltech V4, which is the newest Helltech with the black and gold scheme. I built this live at, like, 4 a.m. yesterday. And what the, they both have the same abilities, obviously. This one has GPS. This one has GPS. This one has a lower antenna. This one has a 950. Yeah, they both have the same stuff. But there is a reason why I would pick the N37 over the N39. Now, this has the Neo Tracker in it. And like I said, this is a Helltech before. So with the Neo Tracker, obviously it's bigger. That's why this one could get so slim and have the battery be this big. This one has a huge battery on the back. And then it really just is thick. And the board goes from over here to over here. And that's because it's not like most mesh-tastic devices. I've never had one like this. I mean, I have like my little Helltech nodes. You get these down super small. It is basically the same board in here, just this is a newer one. This thing's mini. But when it comes to Helltech before, you n have an option that I love. First off, it's self-sustainable. So you don't need a phone with the new firmware. It has a little keyboard on it, and you can move around with a joystick. And you have your other buttons to select. Then you have your reset button. Then you have your USB-C. But then you have an on switch and off switch. Now, that may not seem important, but think of it like this. You, yeah, see? Think of it like this. You buy an N39 because you're scared the world's going to end soon, right? So you put it in your drawer, and then, okay, apocalypse. It's ending. It, this thing is dead. It's just dead. Well, the battery life may last a few days or however long. I haven't had it for that long. There's no on and off switch. So you can't have this just off or on when you need it to be it's always going to be on until it dies and in that case zombie apocalypse i mean like you ain't got time to charge it electricity went out so i mean i feel like that is my biggest thing with this guy also this guy and both of them had the little gps in both of them but i will say the n37s is bigger and better than the n39s so i mean really make the choice yourself i feel like it's pretty easy the one positive I do have with the N39 is that it, both of these antennas I put on here, I'll leave a link in the description if you want to upgrade your antennas, but both of these antennas I put on here myself. Luckily, the N39 came with a, let me show you, a female SMA antenna because the ones here in the U.S. are male antennas, and as we went over yesterday, the N37 has a male SMA, which really screws everything up. So, you don't really have to change anything. You just need a nice 917 antenna, and you'll get some crazy awesome range on this. I mean, look at these two. Also, this one has a white display. This one has the blue. So, take it all you want. They're two different devices serving the same purpose. So, which one will you be getting? And that really is it for this video. I mean, I really just want to point you guys to the right direction. So, Meshinology sent both of these devices to me to check out. And I love both of them, okay? They're both really cool. But like I said, I obviously have my own favorite, which is the N37. But the N39 is pretty cool, too. That is it for this video, though. Make sure to check out Arc Labs. We have, we have the best sales going on right now for the holidays. I mean, you could get an H4 and Porter pack for 250 bucks. If you know what this is, that, that's a crazy deal. And that's really just ships out of the U.S., but that's really it. Make sure to like, subscribe, join my Discord for ages 13 to 17, and, I mean, leave a comment. Give me your thoughts. What do you think? Which one is better for you? I do know a lot of people prefer the N39, 
because you could add a solar antenna on it. But maybe in the future, I may even wire my own on-off switch because I really want one. That is it for this video, though. Make sure to like, subscribe, and goodbye.